I contend that the strongest of all governments is that which is most free. I can never consent to being dictated to. The institutions under which we live, my countrymen, secure each person in the perfect enjoyment of all his rights. It was hard graft all the way, and a good result in the end. Popularity, I have always thought, may aptly be compared to a coquette. The more you woo her, the more apt is she to elude your embrace. So far as it depends on the course of this government, our relations of goodwill and friendship will be sedulously cultivated with all nations. Here lies the body of my good horse, the general. For years he bore me around the circuit of my practice, and all the time he never made a blunder. Would that his master could say the same. Let it be henceforth proclaimed to the world, that man's conscience was created free, that he is no longer accountable to his fellow man for his religious opinions, being responsible therefore only to his God. If we find ourselves increasing beyond example in numbers, in strength, in wealth, in knowledge, in everything which promotes human and social happiness, let us ever remember our dependence for all these, on the protection and merciful dispensations of divine providence. There will be found to exist at all times an imperious necessity, for restraining all the functionaries of the government within the range of their respective powers thereby preserving a just balance between the powers granted to this government, and those reserved to the states and to the people. In 1840, I was called from my farm to undertake the administration of public affairs, and I foresaw that I was called to a bed of thorns. I now leave the bed which has afforded me little rest, and eagerly seek repose in the quiet enjoyments of rural life. If the tide of deformation and abuse shall turn, and my administration come to be praised, future vice presidents who may succeed to the presidency may feel some slight encouragement to pursue an independent course. When the happy air shall arrive for the emancipation of nations, hastened on as it will be by the example of America, shall they not resort to the declaration of our independence, as the charter of their rights, and will not its author be hailed? as the benefactor of the redeemed.